this is Mahima. Thanks for tuning in. I'm delighted to introduce to you today an expert in the field of photography. Astam Bheta has an impressive background and experience in capturing stunning photographs. With her unique journey, we are eager to learn from her insights and hear her story. Welcome Asta and thank you for joining us today. Thank you Mahima. Thank you for calling me here. I mean, uh... Uh, it is it is a really nice initiative that you started for you know professionals who are just entering the industry because if I look back to my journey you know you you have those days of struggle and you you need some good guidance so it's good and thank you for taking me on board for this uh, you know initiative so thank, thank you so, you so much. much yeah we're thrilled to have you here can you tell us a little bit about yourself how you got started in this field of freelance photography yeah. So, uh, talking about my background, uh, I completed my graduation from NIFT, NIFT, National Institute of Fashion Technology. So, my bachelor's in design, I completed from there and my specialization was in communication. So, it involves, it involved a lot of interest, uh, interesting projects like, uh, our core subject was by the way photography. I learned photography there itself, but I never thought that photography can be, you know, a lucrative uh, career option for me and I never thought of taking up photography as my full-time career although I love doing photography always I used to carry camera everywhere I used to you know go uh, you know while vacation or any trip with friends but then photography was never an option in my mind as a as a career and uh, then after my graduation I uh, joined a company it was a startup it was an amazing company where I joined as a graphic designer and I used to also be a part of the creative strategy that they used to make for brands the clients that I had as clients and uh, I used to do graphic design for them and uh, what happened like some kind of situation happened and I had to step in and in the office and you know and do some you know small project for photography because you know the photographer was not available or you know these kind of situations happened so I was like okay I know photography I mean I know the basics I can step in maybe and it can be you know helpful so that's how the journey started that COVID happened in 2020 and I had to you know I was working in Ahmedabad actually and I, my home is in Delhi so I had to come back to my home and I was working from home and then somehow I was not able to go and join back because of all the chaotic situation due to COVID and uh, I had to leave the job like I thought that I don't want to sit idle and let me just take up small small you know freelance projects while looking for another job and while doing those freelance projects I realized that just I, I should just you know continue this and I don't want to look for a job anymore because this is what I love to do and I think I can make a good career out of it. Uh, I would say it was, uh, I don't know, it, if it if it was just instinct or maybe the confidence that I got while doing those small projects, I don't know, but something happened and something clicked at that time. And I just took the decision that, okay, I'm not looking for a job anymore. I'm, I'm going to continue with this only and I'm trying to, and try to grow this as a business for myself. And that's how the journey started. That's really interesting how you discovered your passion. <laughs> yeah. Then someone did not, you know, the photographs that were supposed to be taken by a photographer, professional, yeah. one, that he did not come and then you stepped in. So amazing. Yes. Uh, it's amazing how we discover our passions. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very unpredictable. The, the key is that you should be, you know, maybe open to things. That's the key, I mean. Yeah. Uh, for those considering uh, a career in photography, who do you believe would be a perfect fit for this field? Uh, is there a specific specialization required to thrive in this field or can someone with no prior connection to photography uh, still succeed? I mean, I know a lot of people who don't have any background of photography or they haven't done any specialization, they haven't even studied photography. Mm. I mean, I know a lot of engineers who have turned into photographers and they are doing really well. I wouldn't say that you need a specialization, but it's always good to have your basics clear before entering a field like this. I mean, in any field for that matter, you should have your basics clear. So for me, the thing was different. I did study photography because it was one of our subjects uh, while I was doing my graduation. Uh, but along with that, I mean, not just 
photography is not just about you know operating a camera it's not just about operating an equipment it is much more operating an equipment is something that anybody can learn but it's also about the perspective how you see things because uh photography is about what you see and how you see it right and it is about what kind of and what kind of perspective you have about things and how you can actually you know uh take it out in front of the people i mean how you can the perspective that you have in mind it is very important that you are able to execute it through the tool that you are using right secondly it is all about you know understanding the light photography is about lighting so if you are able to understand the light very well whether it's the natural light whether you are using artificial light but it is very important that you understand the light very well you understand the basics of composition as a photographer i do break rules but before breaking the rules of photography i should know the rules of photography then only i'll be able to break them right yeah. so these are the things that are very important i mean i'm not saying that uh, people can't learn it who don't have the background but no, it is not for everyone that also i would like to say because um, again like i said that you have to have a unique perspective for things you don't have to see the things like every other person sees that particular thing you should have a unique per- perspective you should have a story to say sometimes in a picture it is not just about clicking a picture of a lady but why are you clicking the picture of that old lady why do you want what do you want to want the people to see while you are you know showing that picture to people so it is about the story it about it is about the light it is about perspective so i would like to say that uh more than specialization i mean there are no specific i would say ke ke koi degree nahi hai i think uh, uh, i don't think any as far as i know in my knowledge there's no like i have a bachelor's degree in communication design but i don't think anyone offers a bachelor's degree in photo i mean at least in india there's no uh, professional uh, proper degree in photography and i don't think it is it might be needed at some stage i mean masters in uh, like outside india masters degrees are available and people do consider them and it's a good thing uh but i would say that if someone wants to learn photography they should there's a lot of information available online and uh, they should clear their basics first they should be knowing that okay these are the basics of photography these are the rules this is how light works this is how camera works it is also not about what kind of camera body you are using it comes much later even if you are using a basic camera but you have a unique perspective and you know the and you have the understanding of composition and light i think you'll be able to do much better than someone who doesn't have the knowledge of photography and is just using uh you know a camera that costs lakhs so it is more about how you see that's that's really great information and you mentioned there's a lot of uh, information available online so yes, yes. after our call i'll actually reach out to you and maybe if you have those resources with you you know you have yes, that information let's share sure. with people yeah, yeah. So what are some of the most thrilling experiences you've had while capturing photographs and how do these experiences inspire and motivate your work okay so um I think every shoot that I go on is an experience in itself. I mean, this sound might sound very cliche, but I, that's true because at every shoot I different, I you know face different challenges and I learn a lot of things maybe about myself. You know, you discover a lot of things. You work with different people. So every shoot is a you know unique experience in itself. But yeah, one thing that uh, I would like to say that I am never going to forget is. Um, that i what i shot uh, in delhi uh, like i live in delhi and uh, you know republic day uh, parade is a thing for people who live in delhi and it's very exciting to watch i mean we have grown up watching it on tv and when i got to know about uh, it's it was not a commercial when it was just something that i really wanted to do and i got a chance to go and cover it so yeah because the things that i saw there were so i i don't have any words for that i mean I won't say it's beautiful. I don't know. I mean, what to say about the the kind of frames and the kind of pictures that I got? I would like to show that to you. Those are amazing uh, things that I saw there. This was like after the sun was actually out and they started marching. But yeah, this 
these are the kind of things that we saw there so if you see this this is the horse that they you know <laughs> Uh, getting the horse was, you know, being prepared for the march, and uh, the kind of tones that we got there, the kind of light that we got there in that, you know, winter month, early in the morning at six or seven, it was amazing to see these kind of things. It was all foggy, and uh, really stunning. It was it was an amazing experience. I mean, when do you get to see this kind of a thing? I mean, this soldier, for example, was. and the best part was that they the soldiers there were so busy with their you know preparations and everything but the minute they uh, realized that you are you know trying to click their picture they used to give a warm smile and they used to pose for you that okay let them click our picture it is it was a very nice feeling when i was there and this is the experience that i don't think i'm ever going to forget because the kind of you know feeling i had while i was there and the kind of frames that i got there and uh, the kind of conduct that was there of the soldiers of course uh, i mean they are soldiers so um, it was amazing it was a very very unique kind of an experience when do you get to see these kind of things right yeah, yeah. stunning pictures and you've got an amazing talent like really see so so this so uh, he just posed for us i mean uh, i was i was actually shocked to see he was so busy with his things but the minute he realized that i'm trying to click a good picture you're like okay okay madam i'll sit i'll you know i'll stand like this you'll click a picture so these are the kind of things that actually you know make your experience memorable because we have seen this thing, these things uh, from you know from a very from a, from a distance or maybe on tv but yeah. these are not the kind of thing that we get to see every day so this is one of the most you know thrilling and memorable experiences that i had uh, you know on shoot Yeah. Thanks for sharing these pictures. Like, wow! So I think um, the reason I like this thing that I'm doing is because I get to see a diversity of things, and I get to experience very different kind of uh, you know things and places and people. Uh, you know, while while I go for shoots to different places. So, yeah, it's amazing. And uh, so when it comes to compensation. what can one expect to make at the beginning and for those who excel what kind of career progression and earning potential can be there uh, look forward to i don't think there is a full proof formula to what kind of compensation someone get i mean there is a very wide range of compensation that people get i mean if you are a beginner you can you know for a shoot maybe it can start with as less as 5 to 10000 and people who are much experienced for a shoot they can charge as high as 5 to 10 lakhs so the range is wide okay and the journey is long i would like to say so if someone is starting off i think the compensation also depends on a lot of factors there's no not just one factor that the photographer is a beginner that's that's one of the factors but if that photographer uh, you know has the is working for a client who has the that kind of a skill and that kind of a capacity so it depends on the scale of the client you're working with it depends on what kind of experience you have things keep increasing i would like to say experience is one of the biggest thing that you know increases your compensation eventually okay because the more experience you have the more things the more challenges you have faced the more you know things you know how to uh, i mean you know because on shoots there's always you know at least once there's always a situation uh where it, it's kind of a crisis situation i can say and you have to handle things that okay if something is not working out or the weather condition is not right now what to do so for that experience is needed and that what clients look in for that if the photographer is experienced then you know it works for us and then they are ready to give the compensation as much as the photographer asks so like i said the range is really wide it can start from 10000 and it can go up till 5 to 10 lakhs on so so basically sky is the limit like people do always ask that is it lucrative enough even i had the same question but once you have good experience and once you have a good clientele then i think no one is going to question you about your charges because they know that 
this person has already worked with good names i mean it's psychological but yeah it's some really great information i think it would help people to understand that what kind of compensation that they can look forward to and uh, you were speaking about experience so what we love to hear your advice how to break into this industry to start a successful career uh, in photography and what should be the starting point to get into this field okay so um people who already have maybe a background of it uh, like i did um i would like to say that it is like if they are i assume that if they are they have already studied or they already have a background then they must be having a network of similar people also so when you are starting out with your own thing whether it's freelance whether it's a business networking is the most important thing i mean if you are starting out as a photographer then i am what i assume is that you already have that kind of a talent in you that because of which you are starting it out you have it in you that i know and i can do photography that's the biggest thing that someone can have but then if you have it then the first and foremost thing is network if you have that network of creative people use that network and if you don't have that network create a network for yourself and it's very easy today to build a community and a network because we have a lot of tools like um you know there are platforms where you can actually put up your work and uh, you know there are of course social media is there and uh, there are tons and tons of people who are actually already putting out their work and yeah saying about work that initially you don't have clients so how do you work what i used to do is talk to talking about my experience uh initially when i didn't used to have like continuous uh, you know chain of clients and the work was like work came like on and off like today i have work tomorrow i don't have it's very important to practice every day try to create i always say to people in any kind of creative field that it is very important to create something every day i mean you don't have to sit idle that okay i don't have a client today so i'm not going to work on anything no if you are a street if you aspire to be a street photographer go out every single day and click something if you want to be a product product photographer experiment something at your home with whatever you have try building good compositions if you want to be a fashion photographer if you want to be a portrait photographer no need to find models just find people around yourself inside your home who you think can look good who are photogenic try and practice every day because this practice is something that is going to open up your mind first and which is going to sharpen your skill that's what i i also used to do i really love doing product photography and very much into fashion and portraits and, and travel is also something so like i am known for you know having my camera wherever i go like literally wherever i go i mean my friends know me like iske paas to camera hoga hi okay so because i have had this habit and, and i inculcated this habit of you know i don't want to even today i mean if i don't have work today it's not that i'm not going to make or create anything today i'm definitely going to click something today or maybe i'm going to try some editing today i mean editing is also a big part today because we have got a lot of tools for editing back then when photography was you know in older days editing tools were not very advanced but today it is with digital photography so try experimenting every day create something every day don't sit idle thinking that i don't have work when you start doing this you'll have some stuff to show to people right that okay i might not have experience but i do have something that i've practiced okay and that also helps because one you are constantly sharpening your skill and second you have something to show and in today's time in such you know time in times of such you know high competition uh people are putting their work out a lot and it is important to put your work out out there to be for people to see and what will you show if you don't create anything so create any create something experiment good or bad that you know that the result when the results are you know coming out and you see the picture then you will be able to decide if it's good it's good if it's not good if you don't like the results that you have come out with in your photos then improve i think that's how that's how you do that's how you start off so the beginners were trying to get into this field i would like to say if you have clients good work with them if you don't have clients if you don't have continuous work practicing practice will make you and keep putting your work out there on platforms use the platforms that are provided these days we are 
we are i think very uh, on a very advantageous position today like our generation because we have a lot of platforms to show our work on so why not it it is always a smart decision to put out your work for people to see because that's how you'll you'll be able to connect to people that's how people will be able to reach out to you these are very interesting insights like yeah thank you so much and also are there any internship uh, you know available in india like do people do internships in photography yes yes they do i mean what i have seen is and what i also did is i still do i mean there are good photographers uh who need assistance okay because some projects have such a big scale that it's not uh, easy for one person to you know handle everything and do all the things so uh, assisting a big a good photographer is one of the best ways i would like to say that you'll be able to learn while just by just being on the set by just being on the location of the you know of the shoot uh one that is there second i think internships happen like this only i mean if there are companies if there are digital agencies who already have a team and then they hire you know interns or maybe they hire assistants assistant photographers i think this helps so it is important to find out the requirements and people do have requirements i mean in because with the coming of so much you know uh digital i would say material online i mean people are going just digital these days i mean print i would like i mean sadly but print is something that is becoming extinct but with that uh you know people are people and actually started marketing i mean people have understood the importance of marketing on the digital platforms and because of that people because there are all the businesses like whether it's big or small all the scale of businesses want to market uh, their product uh, online on digital platforms and for that there are there is a requirement for all the scale of photographers who can create content for them whether it's the big brands or it's the, it's a small company or it's a startup so i would like to say that if you are not able to you know join some big photographer as an assistant or if you're not able to you know get an internship directly work for small companies maybe who are who don't like of course because it's a startup it won't be having a very big budget so they understand that you know hiring a highly uh, experienced photographer would cost them a lot so they go for people who are actually good with their art but since they are not very experienced they are just starting out like i also did um, they don't charge a lot so try to find these kind of opportunities if you don't get internships that okay it's this is a small company i have a requirement of clients they have a requirement of uh, you know photographs why not i mean it's a two way road yeah so you can find opportunities like this that's that's great to know and uh, lastly based on your experience and success in the field of photography i'm curious to know what qualities or skills you believe have contributed <laughs> to your achievements in this area and if you have any valuable tips uh, to share with those considering career okay um uh, like i told you like when you asked me about what kind of specialization is needed and stuff uh of course you need that kind of perspective that kind of vision for photography and you need to understand life etc these are the you know skills specifically for a photo- for the photography part but when you are starting out maybe as a professional photographer there are a lot of soft skills also that are needed one of the biggest skills that you need uh being someone who is working for you know herself or himself is communicate uh, you know communication skills i mean you should be able to reach out to people you should be able to convince them uh that why you are a good photographer because there are many good photographers out there why you why would they choose you that is where communication skills come in you should be able to give them the kind of proposal where they actually uh realize that you are talking about their benefit so it is very important that you have good communication skills first then second i would like to say that photography is not just about you know vision or you know clicking the pictures it is a physically exhausting profession it is not just a mentally exhausting profession but also you have to you know 
shoot for like what eight hours straight or ten hours straight. Sometimes you just get, you know, some you know snack break or you know lunch break or something. But then there are, I mean, you have to shoot in harsh harsh conditions, whether it's cold, whether it's hot out there. If you are shooting outside, if you even if you are shooting in a studio, uh, you know there's air condition, but you're shooting for ten hours, and that's not a you know short duration of time that you're shooting for. So it's a physically exhausting profession. So you need to be you know strong enough mentally and physically that you know I'll have to face these situations. I mean, it's hot out there, right? And I do have shoots where you know we are just. it's so humid we are sweating like anything but we are shooting what to do that's our work so you should be ready for these challenges and third you have to be very much up to date i mean uh, it is a very technical thing but you have to be very up to date with what new is coming up i mean you should be eager you should be that much tech savvy for things i mean whether it's about the software that are coming up the new camera the lenses that are coming in uh you should have that uh, you know urge to know about these things because if you don't know about things these things if you don't update yourself constantly if you don't learn constantly i think that learning uh hunger should be there you know, always you should be eager to learn new things because technology today is very dynamic and things are coming up really fast okay and uh, to catch up with these things i think it is very important that you are eager to learn every day because a lot of new things are coming up very fast you know it has become very the world has become very dynamic obviously so that has to be there and i would say one skill that not just in photography i would like to say i, I think it is needed in all the fields to be successful is just be persistent i mean people give up very easily because they don't see results but results i don't think results can be seen very soon results you won't even realize you'll see you you know you'll start seeing but when you i mean you you won't realize that okay this is the result but when when you look back to your journey you'll understand okay this is how i've you know stepped up the ladder of success so i mean success is not i would say it's not a destination i mean it's a journey of improving every day i mean what you were yesterday there should be a there definitely should be a difference between what you were yesterday and what you are today and there should be some amount of improvement i would say so uh persistence has to be there no matter what i mean be what do you say ziddi ban jao matlab ki i do i i be adamant that i if i have started this then i'm going to do this no matter what only then you will see result i mean you won't see results in 6 months you won't see result in 1 year but 5 years down the line you will definitely see results if you have really worked hard and don't afraid to work hard because that's what's happening today i mean like i told you your fundamentals should be clear but what people are doing it they are taking shortcuts they are like i'll buy a good camera and that's you know i'm good to go that's not how that's not how it works uh even if you have a camera that's a basic one but if you actually study you know uh, photography if you actually learn the basics of it the fundamentals of photography in composition and then you start doing it and then you start practicing it i think that's the right way to do it so there are no shortcuts you have to be hard working you have to be persistent and you have to if you don't have good communication skills learn it it will help so yeah exactly so these are some amazing insights and uh, you know you're right if you get you know you stuck with you get stuck with something get stuck with it to if you know 10 years down the line you will have end up experience and you will wonder like wow i'm good at it right yeah. so don't give up people give up really easily very very quickly yeah. so yeah thank you so much for sharing these uh, these wonderful insights i think it is one of the most uh, amazing interview that i have had so far and thank you. Uh, So thank you for generously sharing your story and valuable insights with us. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye.